The only way to learn is to talk. Hello and a big welcome from Speak English with Ed. Today we're going to be continuing with learning about pluralizing nouns. Last time we looked at pluralizing nouns in their basic form. That was by adding s or es. Well today we're going to be looking at pluralizing nouns that end in f or fe. If you're looking at passing one of the CELT examinations that are a requirement to get a settlement visa to come to the UK, then you're in the right place. Because today we're going to be looking at pluralizing nouns uh, to make your conversation better. My name's Ed Anguish and I'm really pleased that you're with us today. But first, before we jump in, let's have a look and have a recap at what we learned in the last video. So, we learned that single means one, just one, no more, just one. And we learned that plural means anything above one, whether it be two, whether it be twenty, or a thousand, whatever the number, it doesn't matter. And it also means, actually, fractions or parts of a number. So you can have one and a half eggs, one and a half lemons. It's still using it in its plural form. You can have um, one and a half kilograms of flour in your recipe. So you, you still use it with uh, fractions or parts of a whole. Not It doesn't have to be just whole numbers. Now, you cannot count everything. Some things... Um, you just can't count. And we'll, we also learned that you can, you can count cups, but you can't count water. So you can, you can count cups of water, but you can't count the water. You can count spoons of honey, but you can't count honey. Um, so you can't count everything. Now, most nouns, uh, must change to make a plural form. Most nouns must change, but not all nouns uh, change. Some nouns just stay as they are. For instance, you can have one sheep, you can have uh, sheep, ten sheep, you can have a flock of sheep, but you don't have sheeps. You don't have sheeps. You can have a grapefruit, you can have ten grapefruits, you can have a grapefruit and a half. They're grapefruit. They don't have a plural form that it's the same all the way through so uh, not all uh, not all of them change now we also learned it's the last sound that um, creates the ending it depends what it sounds like so uh, we learned that there was endings like s and z and s uh? so depending on the ending of the vowel that you're talking about you can have cup is easy to go cups you can't go cuppers it's cups so you can have boys boys that has a z sound it's easy to make a boys sound and you can have churches churches you can't have churches churches no it doesn't work church as so it depends on the ending of the vowel or ending of the noun sorry some nouns change into a different word altogether we also learned that some of them just go into a different word uh, like for instance foot now you can have one foot but most of us have two feet so it changes from foot to feet you can have one tooth uh, or you can have teeth which is more than one um, if you haven't seen the first video yet, and I really recommend you to watch that because then you'll you'll learn the basics. Uh, there's a link at the top of the screen, so go and watch that, and then you can understand what we're talking about here. Now, not all nouns change by adding e uh, adding s or es. Last time we added. S or ES to change into a plural, but not all nouns use e, uh, use S or ES to change into uh, a plural. And that's what we're going to be looking at today. 
let me suggest that you watch this video all the way through. Then, stop the video, go and have a drink. Go and have a something of a refreshment. My drink, as you know, is coffee. I love coffee. So, but you have what you want. You can have tea, you can have milk, you can have whatever your drink is, whatever your refreshment is. You go and have that. And then come back with your notebook. I got my notebook again here. I have my notebook all the time. Uh, and my pen ready to uh, make notes. It's always here, ready. Uh, and come back with your notebook and pen and then watch the video and make notes of the points that you need to learn. Now, uh, there are points in this video that don't stick to rules and things that you need to remember, right? Just You just have to remember them. There are no rules applied. So you must uh, make notes and then you can refer to them and then you will uh, remember them easier. So make notes. So... Um, let's go and start looking at endings with F and FE. So nouns that end with F or FE. Well, we're going to have to change the F to a V and then add ES. Okay. You change the F to a V and add ES. What do we mean? Well, let's have a look and see what we mean. Maybe you know. But we'll have a look and see what you mean. So here's the word half. Half. Right? It complies with the rule because it ends in an F. So what we have to do is remove the F. We take the F away. We replace it with a V and then add ES. Okay? So we take the F away. That goes away. And we end up with, uh, and replace it with a V. And then we add ES. That is the rule. Let's have a look at it again. Let's have a look at it again. So we've got half. And we remove the F. We take the F away. Right? We replace it with a V. And then we add ES. And that's all there is to making one half or two halves one half or two halves so that's all you need to do to, uh, all you need to remember to make um, that into a plural half easily becomes halves and you pronounce it with a v not an f not a f half is a f sound a f it's just a f air coming out of your mouth but v v is a vocal sound if you press your just just touch your, your throat here and say v, if you can't feel that vib vibrating you're saying f, but you, that must vibrate when you're saying v, halves. so it's a vocal sound is v where it's an air sound is f and this uh, this rule also applies, as we can see here, to shelf. We remove the F and replace it with a V and add ES. Shelves. Now, just to say that I really appreciate you watching these videos. And check out the other videos uh, on the channel as well. And if you haven't already subscribed, then hit the subscribe button. And that way you won't miss any new videos that we send out. So, let's look at word, words now ending in F-E. These are words ending F-E. So, what we have to do is remove the F-E, replace it with a V, and add E-S. So, it's basically the same, only you replace, you're changing the F and the E. You, you've got to get rid of them at the beginning. A wife. Wife. This meets the rule because it ends in F-E. F-E. So, we need to remove the F-E, replace it with a V, and then add E-S. Just the same, only you're doing it with F-E, not just the F. You're replacing the E as well. And the same applies. Uh, knife. This this one meets the rules. It meets the rule requirements. Uh, it ends in F-E. So we replace the F and the E with a V and 
we add ES. Knives. Don't forget the vibration on your throat. Knives. Okay. Now, these, this, uh, we'll look at another one. We've got one still ending in F. But this time, before the F are two vowels. So this is two vowels and then F. I'll show you what I mean. We've got here chief. This meets the requirements because there are two vowels before the F. So it meets the requirements for the rule. And what we do here is just add an S. That's all. All you need to do is add an S. If there's two vowels before the F, then you meet the, uh, you just add an S. It meets the requirements and you just add an S. Usually. Usually. We'll get to that in a minute. So, roof. Here's another one. It's got two vowels before the F. So what do we do? We just add an S. That's right. Simple. Just add an S. But this is English, and English breaks the rules a lot of the time. So there are some exceptions to the rule. Now, exceptions means the rules don't apply all the time. So this uh, this is some uh, times when the rules don't apply. Meets the requirements, but you don't apply the rule. For instance, leaf. Leaf, it's got an E-A, so and followed by an F, so it meets the requirements. Two vowels up here, two vowels plus an F, two vowels plus an F. But we don't just add an S. With leaf, we must go through the process of removing the F and adding a V and then E-S. So this goes back to the first one where we... Replace the F with a V and add ES. Change the F to a V and add ES. I can't give you any indications. This is a, this is one of the reasons why you need your notebook. And make sure, oops, sorry. This is one of the reasons why you need your notebook and write things down so that you can um, refer to them, so that you can go back to them and check them out. Another one, thief. Thief. It's an F sounding. It's got two vowels before the F, but you do the V E S change to make it thieves. Thieves. And I'm awfully sorry, but you've just got to remember these. As I said, that's why you write them down. That's why you should write them down. It helps. So. Let's just have a look at these words here. We've got half. We've looked at half. We've looked at calf. These meet the F, ending in an F rule. We've got knife, life and wife. These meet the F, E rule. Okay, so to turn half into a plural, we have to change the F to a V and add ES. So that's halves. The same applies to calf. Now a calf is a baby cow, really. A cow. Um, a little baby. So we change calf to calves. This is the F goes to a V and then add ES. And the same applies to knife. Knife. We, uh, we change the F F-E this time, the, the whole F-E, we take it away, replace it with a V, and then add E-S. So we've got knives. And life is exactly the same. F-E goes, V-E-S comes back in. And with wife. Wife. Or wives. Henry VIII had six wives. Okay, so... Exceptions to the rules. Okay, so here we've got chef. Chef. It's a word. It ends in F. But we don't change the F to a V and add ES. This is an exception to that rule. This one we just add an S. And it becomes chefs. Chefs. Okay. The next one is leaf. 
Leaf has got the two vowels and an F rule, which we don't uh, stick to on um, leaf. We go back to the first one and we uh, change the F to a V and add ES. So that goes to leaves. And we've also got safe. Safe. Now, FE, this is an ending, FE, so the rule says that you um, change the FE to V and add ES, but we don't, not with this safe, not with the word safe. Safe becomes safes, you just add an S. I'm, I'm sorry about exception, I can't help you anymore with this, it's just something that you're going to have to learn and remember so write them down in your book so you can refer to them look at them every day and see oh i'm safe and think of sentences where you can put these into now you don't need to worry about the length of the word it doesn't matter it can be a long word that you turn in into plural it doesn't matter it's just a last ending you need to be able to say the word of course but you change it into a plural according to the rules and that applies to the ending the last two, three letters. Can you remember the sounds? We've got an S sound when it's like cups, cups. We've got a Z sound when it's like boys, boys. And we've got an Z sound, churches, fishes. So um, if it's a S Sound. It depends on the sound of the word and you'll get used to it. And practice, if one doesn't sound right or one's hard for you to say, try the other one. Because if it's hard for you to say, it's hard for everybody to say and you're saying the wrong one. Because these are easy to say, cups, cups. It's easy to say cups than cuppers, cuppers, cuppers. So make sure practice, and if it's and if if you're having difficulty, try one of the others. So let's have some a little bit of practice. I love a bit of practice. Let's have some practice. So um, a sentence here: These are dinner something. Now, uh, knife. We've got knife. So is it knife? Is it knife with? Uh, an S on the end, or is it knife with V E S? Think about the rule. It's knives, so we change the F E to a V and add E S. Right, I saw a something at the zoo. I saw a something at the zoo. So, giraffe. Giraffe with an S, or giraffe as it changed to V E S. Which one? Giraffe, giraffes, or giraffes? Well, actually, it's giraffe. It's singular. And this is singular because this is a giraffe. It says, I saw a giraffe, which means you just saw one. Don't forget, check out the video that was uh, we had earlier on. Uh, the first video uh, that we had a link to at the top, and uh, that will explain about um, ones and more than ones. Right, next sentence. Henry VIII had six somethings. Henry VIII had six somethings. Was it six wife, six wives, or six wives? Six wife, just wife, or six wives with an S, or six wives with a V E S? Which one? Well, it's the F E rule, so that means we change the F to a V and add E. S, the F E to a V and add E S. Right, next sentence. The something are covered in snow. Winter snow. Don't like snow. Roof, roofs or roofs. Roof, roofs or roofs. Which one is this? Which one do you think? Well, actually, it's roofs because we've got two vowels 
followed by an F. So we add an S in this case. Now, I lost three somethings yesterday. I lost three somethings yesterday. So, life. Life's or lives. So you're playing a game, computer game. We all lose lives on a computer game. Well, I don't play computer games, but we do. Uh, lives have been lost on computer games. <laughs> so, is it life, lives, or lives? Well, actually, it's I lost three lives yesterday. <laughs> so, let's continue with a little bit more practice. And uh, look at this. The plural for list, you would just add an S. It's lists. Lists. Think about how it sounds. You say lists. You don't say listers. Listers. It's not easy to say. It's lists. And you don't say lists. Lists. They're hard to say, so it's lists. Lists. Church. Remember this? This is one we did uh, last time. The church changes to churches. Churches. So we've got lists, churches, and bush, bush, little things in the garden, bush. These are bushes, bushes. You can't say bush, it, it's not right, bush, no. So it's bushes, bushes. And fox, it, X is an S sounding type of word, so it's fox. Foxes, foxes, and cup. Cup is just cups, cups. You just add an S, cups. So, lists, churches, bushes, foxes, cups. Try and learn how to say them at a normal speaking speed. But, Learn how to say them slowly. So, lists, lists, but you will actually say lists, lists. And same with churches, churches, but you will say churches, churches, bushes, bushes, but you will say bushes, bushes. Foxes, foxes, but learn by saying foxes, fox, that way you're pronouncing the whole word and you're saying it correctly, foxes, and cups, cups, that just flows naturally, so practice them, practice them, learn slowly, but try to practice them speaking at full speed and when you can do that you've got everything correct so i hope that you can see the importance here of taking notes because there are things that you cannot apply rules to so you can't learn a rule you have to learn the exceptions you will learn them don't worry you will learn them it's not not a big problem you're going to learn them just fine so you'll be okay no problem but there are so many rule breakers that you need to write all these rules. You need to write the rules and remember the rules. And then you re need to remember the words that break the rules. So your, your notebook is going to be your best friend, believe me. Now, I hope that this video has helped you in some way. And if it did, please make sure that you subscribe. Uh, it's just down here. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. And that way you won't miss out when we release new videos. So until next time, I want to say, uh, stay safe, take care and practice, practice, practice. Bye.